Ottawa is backtracking on a controversial immigration measure less than a week after it was announced in the federal budget. The Department of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship was going to start requiring online-only submissions for asylum seekers to this country. But refugee advocates raised concerns about accessibility, and now the government says it will keep a paper option. Rafi Bujakanian has the latest details today. For months now, advocates for asylum seekers have been warning against extending an online-only application system for them, saying that it's full of glitches, that it takes time to fill out and causes further delays. We found it really a, a very big barrier for people to get over. It's very difficult to use and uh, people, a lot of people can't manage it on their own. They need assistance, it, uh, they need either a lawyer or an NGO person to help them. I think there is um, this assumption that, you know, we're familiar with technology. It's sort of like the um, modern era. Everybody has email, everybody is used to it. In the budget table last week, the federal government said it would be going ahead with making applications online required for all asylum seekers. There are massive pressures on our immigration system. We know that improving the uh, digital portals will be a way of uh, getting more people through quickly. But after questions from CBC News, a spokesperson for the immigration minister's office says accessibility is paramount for all and the paper route will remain an option. Rafi Bujikani on CBC News, Ottawa.